All right, so this looks like it's gonna be a good seed here. Um, not either, it's not front or back heavy. It's actually a perfectly balanced seed. Keys one, four, and seven. So, shouldn't be like a really quick start or finish. Hopefully. Yeah, they get a lot of access to lobbies. So, some of the, one of them might want to check like what level like five is. That might be good info. They could check uh, level two. Yeah. Nice to have, but having seven out of the way is good, so you don't have a monster castle to finish your seed. Yeah. Nobody and likes that. And I guess we can talk about the players themselves. Um, of course, Riley, the three seed, um, upset me, the two seed, beat me by a couple minutes in the last one, while Connor has been rolling along as the one seed. No surprise there. Top players, both of them. Either one could take this. They're very, very fast. Very and for fast those, yeah, and for those who haven't really watched DK64 Randomizer runs or season one, um, it's not real. There's not item rando. It's level order rando with the move shuffle between the shops. So that's what exactly is randomizing this. And you'll kind of see it's more like an NLE style, no levels early style, pass, fast paced speedrun, but you don't know where any, the moves or levels are. So. It should be a pretty hype match, should be pretty close. Um, that being said, I think we should be ready to go. I will drop out of the race channel. All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the good luck, chat. <laughs> Definitely need it. I think we just need Spike to quit out and then we are ready to go. You'll so thread. Oh, go ahead. You you love to see starting with donkey. Nice nice speed early. Yeah, it's always like whenever you start with like lanky chunky, which are like the slowest kongs without their speed up moves. It's like it's so painful sometimes. It's not even like that much slower, but knowing that you could have just rolled a faster seed off the start, it's just like, come on, man. The logic is not kind sometimes. Oh, I guess I never put in the layout, but um, I'm Tudos, and my commentary partner is Elrock. Hello. Um, Elrock has developed a lot of the logic for um, DK64 Randomizer. Well, I have kind of picked my nose and pretended I'm doing things, so... Hey, there we go. Spike has finished, so ooh, that timer has fix that for a second. Going here shortly. All right, well, timer has been fixed, and here we go. Um, one thing I have liked to do in my runs is check, if I have key one, I usually like to check lobby two before lobby one. Both runners are going to opt not do that and just go straight to level one, which is factory. Love seeing factory early. A lot of coins early. Maybe a Kong. No hints. I know Connor doesn't like hints, and I'm thinking Riley may also choose to skip hints just to match his pace. Well, I don't know if they don't like the hints. I... <laughs> they may opt to see hints later and aren't really concerned about it at the moment. Could be true. And with all, these all first... Intended. With these first couple golden ads, it's going to be really interesting to see which ones they pick. Because the cool part about this randomizer is the way you route your golden bananas. Because the golden bananas are always static. Routing is the name of the game here. Pick the fastest golden bananas you can as efficiently as possible. 
The splats, super efficient. And a lanky one on the way is pretty nice to find. Surprisingly, Riley's gonna get a bit of a lead here with movement. Um, we're gonna find out that Tiny Freeze, whatever Kong is here, so no early Kong in Factory. Not quite so free, but it probably means that... Oh, we don't need key in this level, never mind. Nice and easy. Could be a short trip in Factory then. Uh, you know, check the shops, scout some stuff. Grab a couple quick GBs and get out of here. There's nothing left to do if you don't have to fight the boss. Like, I... If you had checked level 2, you might be able to, like, see what what uh, what you needed to get into level 2. It could be level 2 is just Let's see what and some of these shops anyway. are. Cranky does not matter. We have Gorilla Grab on Candy. Nothing really exciting here. In these settings, the... Uh... The, um, the, the machine, the factory, the production room starts activated, so Gorilla Grab doesn't might seem like it does something in the factory, but it, it actually doesn't. Yeah, and for those who have, again, who aren't really that familiar with randomizer runs, um, you have... There's a setting that's kind of like that speeds up kind of the slower golden banana areas, so like, for instance, it takes a bit to turn on production room. That is just turned on automatically. The... Um, temple in the five door temple in Aztec, you need to do a bunch of stuff to actually open those doors, but it's actually turned. Um, those doors are accessible by default. Riley is going to deny Gorilla Grab while Connor is going to opt to purchase it. Interesting. I don't know what you take Grab for. I, if, if Connor has something in mind for Grab, I have no idea what it is. And maybe it helps you get to the, the bongos pad easier, but there's a couple cheeky ways to get up there with a couple different did, kongs. Did Riley take either of those moves? I didn't see. He grabbed a rank stand. Okay. Which makes some sense. It, that, that can help sometimes. And, and we'll get you a GB in factory later if you need it. Connor opted to do the number game first. Connor, or Riley's going to go ahead and check Funky first, and they are going to get... A strong Kong. Now that's also another move that's kind of like iffy, but that is going to get him a free golden banana early, so that does have some merit. It does, but I've also I've also seen Connor just brute force the crusher room. He's a he's a braver man than I. So you don't necessarily need it to get there. Oh no! <laughs> Riley's gonna immediately quit out of this. <laughs> They're all gold, though. Do you quit out of all gold? Ka Riley is not good at Beaver Bother. I know that for a fact. Oh, no. Yeah, he's so, he's never he's never beaten Beaver Bother. Oh. Just flat out. Oh my! <laughs> it takes a uh, conviction to get there. That's for sure. But with all golds, those gold beavers are worth two. If that was a 12 beaver, I didn't see the count. I don't think he, I think he quit out so fast we didn't get to see what the count was. But if that was the, the easier beaver bother, that might actually be pretty quick. I can see now this could be an advantage for Connor because Connor knows how to do beaver bother. And Connor might see the, like, this is an early GB. So you got to do some of the longer GBs at first. He, if he sees those golden beavers, I think there's a pretty good chance he opts to do that. Yeah, looking around at what we have available, we have the Crusher Room, we have the, the pipe up top, we have probably both Pisplats. We're looking at like 5 to 6 GBs early in Factory. This could be a pretty, this could be a decently high level too. This could be up to like 4, I think, so. Yeah, you're right, that's a 4 gold beaver beaver, beaver bother. I've never seen that. It is, it is a rare. one. It's a 1 in 33, or 1 in 3 percent chance. That's not a percent. 33% chance that it's a gold beaver in there. One four. Is it one in three now? Okay. Well, it's a 15 or so. We, I, we, it might, that might have been in the next version, but we, uh, we upped the chance of that happening at some point. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, uh, well, oh, this is, it's the fat, it's the Kaizo beavers. It's, these aren't the normal ones. Oh, okay. So maybe Riley made the right call skipping this, but. 25 is still solid there, and Connor's gonna have a golden banana over Riley because of that. Making quick work. 
So Riley's out of out of factory. He's on to level two. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can get in. Galleon. Galleon's pretty nice too. We need more instruments for it to be really good. And you you really want to see Coconut to open up the other half of Galleon, but and a Kasplat in this lobby. This could be a very high level too. All right. Well, we knew that. <laughs> Tiny Freeze, Chunky, and Factory. Not all the hints winners. And it's a one. All right. Eat my words. Connor's seeing a surprising move. He's opting to take the long way around for these three coins. Although he does get a free exit lobby from that, so I do see merit to that decision. We'll see if Riley ends up being coin strapped with DK later on here. Coconut is such an important move with DK though, and moves on on the prices in this can be up to nine coins. So if you find a nine coin coconut, you're going to be very, 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 very sad. All right, a very low Trophenskopf for Galleon. That looked like 25. So very likely they're going to be able to get it very quickly. Not not too many things to find here. It's probably just a little quick little swim around the shipyard to get your 25 with Lanky. Good move to find, Trombone Tremor. Good odds that unlocks a Kong. Well, now, okay, even without gun, they're going to be able to fight the boss here. There's 15 pretty quick um, bunches underneath the uh, one of the sunken ships at the bottom here. Uh, meanwhile, Lanky has this bunch here and also one bunch on his... Um, his pad on the left. This is going to be a quick on guard turn. I'm not sure if this is going to actually be faster, but on guard is a fast swimmer. There's also the Lanky's two door ship. That could, that could get you some coins, some I don't know, co pretty slow coins, but it also get you CBs and a GB on the road. More importantly, though, these shops could be very important if we get something, we get some interesting moves here. Also, could be some good scouting. Might be able to see some other Kong moves you need to keep an eye out for. Looks like one of homing or sniper at Candy. So that's dead. They're going to be checking those family shops for a bit because you, you need Super Simeon Slam to beat the game. And if Castle has a high amount of bananas, then you need Super Duper. This is a lot of shared shops early. That's really interesting. All right, Super Simeon Slam out for Riley. All right, he doesn't have to worry about shared chops ever again. Nothing really, nothing really super good in shared chops. The most you might get out of a shared chop is like an ammo belt if you shoot a lot. If you get like balloons for high trap and scuffs, but it's not super likely you're gonna be running into that. We'll Looks like that was faster. homing on Candy there. Um, I'm excited for version 2 when we have changes to homing ammo homes on balloons. That might be a decent chain game changer for some people. I'm a very I'm I am very much a homing ammo enthusiast, uh, but uh it's really really not great in these settings if you're trying to go fast. The answer the answer simply to homing ammo is just shoot better and while I cannot simply shoot better, these these players certainly can. <laughs> Lanky for the boss turns into ooh, of course, in Galleon. I'm not sure if Riley's Puff Toss is going to be up to snuff compared to Connor, who has years of speed and experience with this boss. We'll see. But wasn't too much of a fan of that opening technique. Um, keep in mind, for those new to the randomizer experience, we have shortened the bosses slightly so that they're not nearly as long. Um, you're going to see that um, Puff Toss here only has three phases instead of five. Um, so instead of phase two, it's went from phase one to phase three, and from phase three, it's going to go straight to phase five. I'm almost certain Connor's gonna make up time here on Riley. 
Yeah, Riley has doesn't know where the stars spawn. They're they're all set spawns. We do have a hard bosses setting, which does randomize the stars. Big fan of that. But it is I'm not just... in the season one setting, so I'm just bosses. gonna. Hard bosses comes with other fun. Ooh, things. Riley did remember the final one. Yeah, I, I can remember the final one, but the one before the last two is also in the same spot. Virtually, yep. So. And then I, I, I picked up on the last one being in the, the same spot, but I didn't pick up on the second to last one also being in the same spot. It's just... It takes, it takes time to learn these things, and uh, that is certainly what Connor has done in years and years. But Riley still gets out of there first, so he still keeps a, keeps a lead. Yes, he does. And he's going to spot a lanky Kong blueprint right up here. Looks like he's about one beaver bother ahead. This looks like the right decision here. This is a pretty quick golden banana to get. Um, obviously, it changed a lot better when you're collecting bananas. This is going to get him some coins as well with Linky Kong. Well, even if you don't get this now... Um... That, uh, that door will stay open. Uh, there's a setting that is on which uh, makes it so there isn't a timer to get through this door, which is very nice when you can quickly tag between Kongs and open all the doors and then go explore the five-door ship just at your leisure. Three GBs in the hand for Riley. Just from looking at the timer, Riley is roughly 20 seconds ahead, but Connor has that extra beaver bother. He's gonna see the five gold banana requirement on Jape, so he's just gonna quick turn in these uh, Lanky Kong blueprints um, in the, um, the Snide's HQ right below. Does Connor need to dump? He will as well. He's only Con four yep. here. Connor does need to dump so that Beaver Bother did not gain him, gain him an advantage yet. It may later on. We'll see. You may choose but to explore the lobbies as well and find something in them. The longer Riley holds off on collecting a similar banana that's faster, the better it is for Riley, though. That's kind of what it is. You want to kind of collect as few long gold bananas at early, early on at the beginning of the run. So you can focus on collecting the nice quick ones that you have access to later on when you have more moves. Right, that's the name of the game in, in these settings. It's all about banana efficiency. Get the fastest banana, get the fastest set of 69 bananas you possibly can. So we got Langifree's Tiny and Javes. We're going to be looking for Grape Shooter. Ooh, and a fast helm. DK Diddy Chunky. Connor's going to check level 4 first, with it, which is Castle. And that requires 18. However, one of the, the, the laws of the randomizer is you will get 2 Kongs by level 2, 3 Kongs by level 3, 4 Kongs by level 4, and 5 Kongs by level 5. Which means this tiny that's in Jade's is, cert is definitely accessible. This this is because we don't have the ability to unlock the Kong factory. They're going to be able to unlock this Kong. In oh, we three. found the DK wrap. Dot done. DK wrap found. <laughs> You love to see it. Put your oh, hands together we, if you want to clap, chat. We've checked all the shops up to this point, so this has to be Grape Shooter in the oh, shop right Oh, that's brutal. It does does he know where the... There's some good Lanky coins on top by Snides, but he's going to go for these. It's better to get the other ones. Now, Connor already has the Lanky coin, so he has the advantage. He can just walk right in and buy whatever that is. There's only two coins there. I thought there were three. I bet. Yep, it's right. only two. The Diddy has three there, not Lanky. Yeah, and that's why I thought there were three. It's just, like, just, two. just one of the weird inconsistencies of DK64. All right, well, because of that movement, we are going to see a slight lead now from Connor, who does have the coins by Grape Shooter here. Well, Connor wanted to get the coins anyway. <laughs> Yeah. 
Bongo Blast coming out for both as well. Love seeing that. Good instrument coverage, so looking looking pretty good if there's a Kong and Loma Temple. Actually, did we see what Kong was in Factory? Um, I don't think we did. We just know that Tiny frees the Kong in Factory. Right. If it's Chunky in Factory, then that means Diddy has to be in Tiny Temple. Oh, it is Chunky. Yep, that's right. We got a hint for it. Right, so that means we have to have... We have to have Diddy in Tiny's Temple because otherwise you can't get to the back of Aztec. So the Llama Temple is dead then. But this Aztec could be as late as level 5. We saw level 4's castle. So yeah, level 5 is Aztec then. Because that's your fifth Kong. So they're gonna need to... So, oh, this is gonna be nasty then. So they'll have to get Tiny here. Then they'll have to go back to Factory to get Chunky. And then they'll have to find Pineapple and Punch. And then they can get Diddy in Aztec. So they got a, a long winding road to get their fifth Kong. Okay, you make a great point there, it's just punch. You can just tag anywhere. You can cheat. Look, I wrote the logic. You're not allowed to cheat the logic. I am the law of the land. But yeah, so pineapple and punch are likely... Well, they'll be early. They'll be at least in level 5 or earlier, so... They should be keeping track of chunky shops as they go. Presumably they're already keeping track of those, but... I haven't been keeping track, so hopefully they have. One forty-six bananas required. That's not terribly high, but that will include being able to get tiny, and then also going back to factory and being able to get chunky. So they may need four kongs to get that number, because there's only one gun seen so far. So that could uh, that one forty could be sneaky high. They may have to double dip to go get like tiny moves. Feather unlocks uh, quite a few colored bananas. This is an okay level double dip too. Um, since it's in the level three spot, you have easy warp access, and then on top of that, Japes is just easy to navigate through. So no issues with the double dip here. However, they're really hoping to see coconut in this shop. If they see coconut and cranky, then that will that will help their their CD count tremendously. The Rambi gate blocks a bunch of stuff. Uh, all these uh, all these huts that Rambi runs over is helpful, but. No coconut here. Orang Sand Sprint coming out for Connor. Have we seen Isles Cranky yet? Uh, I don't believe not. I know Seems Riley loves to skip Isles Cranky, so we'll see if that comes into play later. Wow, I mean, given all the shared shops we've seen, I would pretty good. I think it's pretty good odds that that is Welcome going to, to be day. something. Good. I don't think Connor did this, so Riley's gonna get a nice, easy golden banana here. Maybe he's picking his beaver bother instead of this. Hedging his or uh... Yeah, this is the the vanilla minigame slot for this too, so pretty funny. What do you know? And Connor what? doing what I thought he would do, which is watch an ad. <laughs> wow. One, uh, one issue in Japes is that there aren't a lot of tiny coins. There's only really those three up in the tunnel, and then you would need Chunky to get more access to more coins underground. So you're kind of kind of short on tiny coins in your first visit of Japes, so... Can't really do anything under those shops. Gotta gotta run out and uh, have a look for other stuff. Oh, but this is what Connor grab grabbed for. He's grabbing his way to the bongo instrument pad in factory lobby. Amazing. Instead of back flipping up. I don't just... know if Connor knows that trick actually. 
It is definitely a, a randomizer-specific trick, and you just checked a hint, so I don't know who this guy is anymore. Got another you got a bunch of hints. Good. And you got a bunch of hints for stuff we already know, so... Okay, well, either way, Chunky is free on Connor's side. Riley just got castle info. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. And then Riley does the backflip up instead of using grab. He's getting his info that isn't terribly useful. Alright, so from the looks of things at the moment, it seems like Connor is a little bit ahead, of course. They, the Golden Banana count is roughly the same. Yeah, they're looking at the same objectives right now. They're both going back to factory. Go grab Chunky, check the shops here again. Grab a bunch of coins as well. Pick up sacks. It's a great pickup. Grab a couple of fishing GDs on the way. Maybe maybe head into the production room, maybe climb it for the lanky one. Check out the splat. So production room is a possibility here, but they both know that 18 is required for castle, so they may be eyeing castle as a potential way forward now. Because they don't need key 3. Key 3 doesn't unlock anything, so they can come back to key 3 whenever they feel like it. They're probably actually going to be looking at level 5 now, trying to get into Aztec as quickly as possible. Riley wanted to guarantee he can get the funky move from here for sure, get by making sure he has at least 9. Coins are everything now. And Connor's been very diligent about collecting coins so far. He got a bunch of random stray coins in very out of the way areas in Galleon, so he is quite wealthy. That should pay off. That, that, that may pay off depending on what shows up and how expensive it is. See what this chunky move is in frame fact. Oh, and Connor has to go outside to get one coin to buy it. Oh no. Big sad from Connor there. Where's some Meanwhile, he'll chunky get a ponytail coins? twirl at least. Where are some chunky coins here really quickly? Uh... Um, there is some outside by in the block room in like those alcoves. Oh yeah. So he does have like... access. Gotta go get a coin there. Those coins suck to get. But he only needs one. It's just a matter of he just needs to go back out. Does Riley have any more, though? I don't think he does, because he's just done basically the same stuff. I got Twirl there. That's pretty good find. Twirl opens up Magic to be accessible for our bosses. So it's Triangle fine. Trample shows off, it's mm. a good find. You know Pineapple and Punch have to show up, but Triangle's a nice addition as well. Actually, I don't think Triangle does anything, because you don't need to unlock a Kong. It's not- or no, it's in the Helm Order, so yeah, you do need Triangle. So, great pickup. Kind of running around aisles looking for some stray GBs. He might be thinking castle. I'm thinking castle too. Get in the castle, check all the shops there. Oh, but he is well short of it. He needs 18, only at 12 with five blueprints in hand, so. He does need to get an extra. He's gonna get an extra golden banana here, so that should put him at 18. But does he wanna dump here? I don't know if he wants to dump here. That's a pretty slow dump between four Kongs. Unfortunately for Riley, he's gonna find out castle's 18, so he's gonna be a little. He's gonna need to figure cool. out what he wants to do next. So he got the hint for Castle that it was 18. He might think this is Aztec and think Castle is five, but he's gonna be a little disappointed. Yep, here. that's exactly what happened. He saw that was Castle and just bailed right away. Yeah, that uh, Aztec is 
a little bit light in this seed. A pretty late Aztec, relatively, actually. At last, somebody has decided, hey, you know what? Maybe Cranky has something good in Isles. I guess Riley did get this after all. There wasn't anything good in Isles. There's nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you count the sold out sign as something. Oh my goodness. But, um, again, Riley does not like checking that, so I'm not sure if he'll actually look at that or not. I think he might, because there's so few locations things have to be in. If they're counting shops now, it's possible they know. Like, if there are no other chunky shops available, then you know that both of your chunky moves are going to be in Castle. Or one of your chunky moves is in Castle. The other one could be, like, Candies and Aztec, but... But even still, what could they do in, like, Castle, say? There's not too many things they can do without Slam. They may just have you to do have around. You do get the access to three shops, so you do have that yeah. going. The shops are big, they'll just run around, check splats, shops, coins, but without like super duper slam, it's it's a little rough. And we, we've seen one slam, but we haven't seen the second. If they had the second, they might they might get a little more might get a little more interesting. They might do a couple more interesting GBs in here. Aztec level five, I didn't catch how much it costs to get in, but Connor's just getting out of there. Twenty-five. Oh my goodness. That's pretty expensive. Castle's not going to do much for them other than um, getting Splash shop cool. access, which might be the move, which I think what that's what Riley's going to do here as well as Connor. So we're going to have a couple of old bananas from both players here. This is, your, this is your hydration break of DK64 randomizer. When you're dumping blueprints, you just take a moment, relax, Make sure your tracker is up to date because you forgot to click something. And take a nice long drink of water. This is a hallmark of, uh, of DK64 Randomizer. I find is that my tracker is just always wrong. These seeds are so fast paced and I'm always picking up stuff that I just like always forget to click something somewhere on a tracker. Yeah, we're not we're not updating the trackers. I, this, these are just restream trackers, right? What was that? Are these restream trackers or is this you tracking them? This is me tracking. Oh, nice. Because I'm looking I'm looking at their streams directly, and <laughs> Riley hasn't marked chunky, you know, stuff like that. Just like miscellaneous things that just always get mismatched. Tracking blueprint counts and whatnot. Who knows? Connor and Riley should have the same things, except Connor has strong Kong wall. Or sorry, Riley is strong Kong while Connor has Gorilla Grab. Those are the only differences. Connor has uh, strong Kong marked as well, so maybe he did get that. Wait a minute, Kiru Order was that Donkey Diddy Chunky? Yes, that is the fast one. Fungi Forty Eight. I don't know if Connor saw that. Maybe he did see it, but it was earlier on. I don't think he's seen it. I don't think it matters. Once you get to the that those later points are just like it's just a high number to you dude. hope riley saw that and cranks and force is homing ammo um that's a good sign because if fungi is level seven he doesn't need to go out his way to get a move more than likely fungi at 48 could be level six it'd be a pretty expensive level six but it's possible But ultimately, it's a race to get to level six and get the key there. Because at that, and then at that point, it's just go, 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 collect as much as you can, as quickly as you can. Anything and anything you can think of. Riley's gonna opt to climb, while Connor's gonna go down low first. I'm not sure exactly which is faster, but a little bit of a divergence in routes here, which could be interesting. Candy's not selling anything useful. I think personally, I like going down first to check both shops quicker. If there's only one, if you're looking for one thing, then you want to check, or then checking two shops is going to check one, obviously. In this case, it might be wrong, because now we know one shop is empty. Those are more coins down here, I think. So maybe it depends on your coin situation as well. Your mileage may vary. It's all over the place in bga64randomizer.com. We got another family move. I think Riley wants to see if this is super duper. 
Yeah, oh, it is super, super duper. Crazy. He's gonna buy this. Connor didn't even look at the other one. I don't think he's even thinking. He's. I don't think he's even thinking about super duper. He's just going. Given that you need twenty five to get into castle, it's it's possible you might need the super duper. Man, if they didn't have the key for this place, this could be a very high key as well. A little bit surprised Riley didn't want to go up, but probably doesn't. He doesn't have the moves to do the uh, little quick going banana areas by Warpore, except for the lanky one. Connor uh, enjoying the DK64 randomizer dev work life of uh, bashing big bugs. We'll see if Riley opts to do that golden banana as well. Was, I think it was a short one. It was like six, I think. Oh, he's oh Riley can do this puzzle. Yeah. This is you. This looks like it's gonna be a quick one too. A lot of the switches are already DK's face. Yo, Cyclops DK. Yeah, this is a nice pickup. This is, he's getting rewarded for climbing the castle first. There's going to be a semi-quick one that Connor's not going to be able to do. Connor is going to opt to do Lanky's Crypt GB, though. This is not a particularly quick one, though, despite the fact that you're sprinting. It's a little bit early on, but see, I think it's forgivable that both of them do these ones. Right, and maybe you, like, death warp out of here or something, and then climb the castle. Did he check the shop already? I missed it. Oh, Riley, if you fall here, okay. If you fall in this pit that Riley just crossed here, you don't get warped at the beginning of the air. You get warped at the beginning of the level. It's pretty brutal. Okay, I think I underestimated how fast this GB was. He just jumped the gap with sprint. Yep. Unbelievable. It is pretty fast. Like, you, the, the, the actual way you're supposed to do that room is you're supposed to play your instrument to summon some vines and jump across the vines to it, but you literally have enough speed to just jump straight across the gap with a uh, rank sprint. Connor using oranges and a little bit of damage boosting to also get tinies in the mausoleum. What a brilliant trick. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that makes it much more worth it if you're getting both of those, actually. That's really That's good. a trick we normally use in 101 speedruns. Um, definitely has some uses here, for sure. That's a waste in the hole there. And yet, he cannot get stopped by a zinger. And here's the chunky move we're looking for. Pride is Punch probably, is a great find. Punch for Triangle. Punch gives you a GB, too. In the shed. So maybe Connor gets rewarded for climbing later because now he has punch. Oh no! Go. Riley almost just got punched off. That Splend is the most dangerous thing in this entire game. I'm pretty certain Riley does not know about that damage boost. And if he does, it's because he saw me do it a long time ago when I used to speedrun this. Connor breaking out all the tricks. The deep, no the deep knowledge. Definitely a battle by both players on that Kasplat on the platform over there. It's a struggle to get this guy. My goodness, he is so mean. Alright, Riley is of course going to opt to do this as well. And they trade spots. Checking the things the other guy got. Oh, you can get hit by an enemy there and still be fine. So, oh, you can just aerial in with it during the sprint, huh? I thought it was something weird, like canceling at midair or something ridiculous. Nice move. Blanky only has um, Baboon Balloon left, so I don't think either player particularly cares about getting more coins for Lanky. Yeah, you've got your slam. 
so you don't need to stock up coins. And yeah, balloon is pretty useless. There's some good balloon, like, colored bananas in, like, caves, but... Oh, Riley doing this the vanilla way. Spooky hands climbing up. Oh, they missed! Ouch. I don't think Connor got super duper. He did not. He looked at that shop, saw it was a shared shop, and was like, Gee, I don't care. And In the meantime, Riley's just not going to do uh, that golden banana. Going to get primate punch here. Yeah, once you get out of castle, it's just like, it's useless. There's nothing, nothing there for it. Nothing, nothing to use super duper for, so. Good value in castle, but past it, it doesn't really matter. No, I'm certain that Riley's gonna go up to that area with the greenhouse to get that and the shed GB. <clears throat> I really like Connor Floyd here. He's going back to Japes for two things. One, to get the last two GBs he needs to get into Aztec. And two, is to get chunky coins. Because he's gonna need to buy a lot more chunky coins to see this. Especially, or specifically, he needs pineapple very quickly. And then we will still need Hunky Chunky and Grilled on for K Roll. Yeah, he's not going to be in Japes for long. He's basically just going to get this Elite instantly. He'll get a good pile of Chunky Coins and a good pile of just some two quick GBs and get out of here. Chris Blatt for the road, too. Why not? Why not? Riley sprinting through the greenhouse. This is one that I was thinking of when, when he picked up uh, Super Duper. This is a really fast one, too. Well, yep, yep. it's it's fast besides all the garbage cutscenes. <laughs> Slowly panning over to a crown. Take a quick look, stream. All right, there it is. That's it. That's the crown. You're never looking at it again. Ooh, Pineapple Launcher showing up in Japes. There you go. So Connor was tracking moves better than I was and realized there's a chunky move here. And I need a lot of chunky moves, especially I need Pineapple soon to get to get Diddy. So there you go. That's what he, that's what he went back to Japes for. Maybe take some time to get Key 3 while you're here. It's possible. A revisit might be... A revisit might be worth it later if you get, like, Coconut to get a bunch of GBs really quickly, but I think now is probably a pretty good time to to, to get Key 3 as well. With four Kongs, surely you can get everything. Monkey Port as well. Wow, Japes is loaded. Riley's going to be just short. Meanwhile, Connor is going to be heading shortly to get uh, access to Aztec. I'm not sure what Riley's going to want to do here. Maybe he'll just turn in blueprints. Yeah, Is Connor doesn't know the Fungi GB. I'm not sure if that's going to matter or not. It depends if Fungi's level six or seven. Yeah, Connor uh, just, or Riley's just gonna opt to turn in blueprints here. Did Riley check Aztec before going there? No. I'm not because it looked like he ran in there thinking like I was gonna like I was maybe thinking he would get in. I know Connor checked it, so he knew this is twenty-five. So maybe Riley thought like, oh I have twenty-three, like surely this is good enough, but now he's gonna dump two extra. That's uh it's gonna put him back. Connor will get Connor will get the the fifth Kong, Diddy Kong first. Wow, well, while doing some things on the side. Yeah, you can kind of think of it like that. You can, you can kind of think of it like that. Zern brings up a, a great point in the chat where you can treat the the revisit to Japes basically like you, you can sort of equate Connor's second visit to Japes to Riley's dumping two blueprints. Connor went back to Japes, picked up two GBs and a bunch of other things like check shops and everything, whereas Riley just went straight for GBs just to move on. So it's a sort of uh, maybe a more efficient way of getting the GBs you need for Aztec. 
the revi making the, the revisit more valuable than just dumping blueprints and going. So right now, Connor does have a two gold banana advantage on Riley. Riley never revisited Japes though, so this that could be a huge advantage later on for routing purposes. I guess we'll find out uh, what yeah. happens here. That's true. And he doesn't he doesn't logically need or logically he needs pineapple, but he actually practically doesn't because you can just get in with the grape shooter. So I said Connor would get the family first, but I believe. I've just lied to you. The the yeah, problem is crazy. if Diddy is in this spot, then Riley does actually need to go back to Japes and get Pineapple Launcher. So we'll see what happens. Does he? I don't think he does. He just needs Punch. Oh, he does need Punch. You're right, you're right. I, I keep he thinking logically he does yeah. need Pineapple. Yeah, logically, you know that pineapple is accessible, and with a 252 Aztec, that's a pretty steep Aztec. So, they may want as many guns as they can get. Right, there you go. Nine, 45 minutes in. The gang has assembled. got Diddy. Where do you go, Tudos? Well, you need to get Diddy's guitar in order to do the rest of Aztec. Um, I didn't quite see how many bananas were required here. It was but, 252. Um, it was a very high number. Surprised Riley. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm surprised Riley wasn't being more, paying more attention to getting those. It's a very high number for Aztec, especially because you actually didn't need to see guitar here. Like guitar. Connor's be... probably gonna do Vulture. Uh, Riley wasn't gonna be able to do it because he didn't have Pineapple Launcher, and it's only really worth it if you have Pineapple Launcher. Plus, there's an extra balloon that he can get. All right, and here's the exit to Isles. Um, there's a Diddy move in Japes, and there's a Diddy move in Galleon. I think those are the only Diddy moves. He has to check this, though, which he hasn't yet. Yeah, at this point, it's too risky not to. If your guitar is here and you don't, and you just pass it for so long, that is, it feels bad. Of course, this is the true Jape of them all, where Cranky has nothing. Womp womp. Oh, Connor missed the... Connor missed the shot, so we had to wait till the vulture crossed all the way over him. That lost him a few seconds. Oh, forget that vulture. DK64's camera is gonna fight him tooth and nail just to get there. That's a, a an underrated skill is being able to maneuver the camera in this game. It just will fight you sometimes. That's all you can really do in your first trip with Aztec, so Connor's out of here. Where is he going? He's going, going to Galleon, which we do know there's a Diddy move in Galleon, which I think is fine. He's a Diddy move in Galleon, and he also has four instruments. So he could like, check out a ship, or check out the five-door ship cleanly, he can check out the two-door ship. There's a lot of GBs to get here as well, so he might decide that this is worth a longer visit, depending on how highly he values these GBs. I think they're pretty good, but I'm no expert. There's Pineapple Launcher. So Riley now, on his second visit to Japes, has the advantage of being able to probably do everything he oh, wants. Oh, there's to. Guitar! Very nice. Guitar is nice, but... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's all that important. Like, 
Ultimate well, he has more ASSEC access now. He inherently has more access to the rest of the game right now. So sure. that could definitely do prove something in the long run. Oh, what is that? Well, oh, actually, no. yeah, you... Oh, no. We're gonna see a beaver bother. A beaver brawl. <laughs> With no beavers. Not sure. Riley should be doing chunky underground. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. That might be what he ends on, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. He probably wants to get all Diddy stuff here. Do like DK's cage plus Diddy's cage and then run to chunky underground. Oh, Riley returned to hear the DK rap. Right, right. How could I forget? Uh, a man of the people. He knows his audio is on. Giving us a show. Oh, he doesn't have coconut. What am I saying? He can't get any of those cage ones. Oh, yeah, he never got this either. He's just checking shops. This is Monkey Port. Yep. Yeah, so I guess there's actually not that much to do in Japes besides the underground, really. The underground's good, too, but without coconut, he's got a lot of cage options. Connor getting bullied by a kosher the size of the moon. Happens to the best of us. Those guys are, when they scale up, they are just super annoying. <laughs> Interesting strap by Riley here. He knows there's delay on hitting that axe. What was the Diddy move Riley got there? I missed it. Mini monkey coming out. Uh, move from who? I wasn't paying attention. Either. The Diddy move that Connor got. Oh. Spring looks like he has more. Simeon string? Oh. Okay. Yeah, nothing too exciting there. Simeon String tends to be the least exciting of the Diddy moves. Not really too much you can do with it. At best, you get like a uh, the Isle Snide GB, really. <laughs> Alright, a little short little galleon trip just to check the shop, grab a couple things, and he leaves with 31 GBs and a pile of blueprints in the pocket. That's the big difference between these two right now, is that Connor has a healthy stockpile of blueprints that can help boost him into level 6 as soon as he wants, as soon as he feels like checking it. Well, he has to clear Aztec in order to see it, so yeah, actually, Guitar is... Okay, I, I previously said Guitar may not be that important. It's actually extremely important because you're going to need Guitar to get to the back of Aztec to get enough CBs in order to get into level 6, and getting to level 6 is critical because the faster you complete level 6, the faster you're on track to get to home. Riley does not want to reuse the japes again, which could bite him in the butt later because he's going to miss out on some quick gold bananas, but we'll see if this pays off. What are his options instead of revisiting japes? Uh, revisiting factory, maybe? With more revisiting, he's yeah. definitely set up nicely to revisit factory. It's possible he does a lot in Aztec as well. Pretty likely you're going to need that. You have a couple guns. You do a galleon revisit with a bunch of instruments, but I don't think that's. Yeah, you know, the runners don't seem to like that. If Connor is not a fan of that, with f with four instruments and galleon and doing GBs there, then well, that Riley will be any more interested. I'm not sure if I like these banana options Riley's doing right now. There we go. Well, he's at it's like the the it's like 140 something, yeah. And he was at 136 a few seconds ago, so he's just like, okay, what can I get? What can I get? What can I get? Just, Anything accessible at that point. No rhyme or reason. Yeah, and again, level or key from level three does not look does not unlock anything. So like, you want to ideally make sh you like you don't need to get that right now. But it looks like he's gonna opt to do that because he doesn't want to revisit. Connor's taking his guitar and going straight to Aztec. Yeah, me on my screen, he's playing Fortnite. Hmm. Do 
these like DK64 levels sound like locations in Fortnite? Like, is that how we attract the younger crowd? We just like I, pretend, I like, think so. Pretend Jungle pretend. Japes. Sounds like Tomato Town. Twisted Towers. <laughs> I think I think we've got it. This is how we get the youth. Kudos. We gotta market it on DK64Randomizer.com. <laughs> it's the next coming of Fortnite, people. This is a big deal. Ooh, another vanilla boss in Armadillo One. Another shared shop. Wow, there must be. Maybe I'm just like so warped by my item rando testing that I've forgotten how many shared drops are in the game. There are a lot, now that I think about it. There and are. Even the missing moves, there's only like three or so contracts left. Out of like three or four contracts left out of the two levels remaining. And Funky's in the back here. Yeah, we're gonna end up how many shared moves there are. Item rando is wild. That's key three for, for Riley, so that's the advantage he takes into Aztec with him because that's probably his next stop. Rocket Barrel Boost is on Funky. And Rock Rock gonna be getting me. three more moves as well. Another chunky move too, that's good. And I think that's Feather. So that'll be a that'll be a nice pickup. Good shot there. Why are they choosing Galleon first? I'm wondering what he's thinking he wants. Does he want like... I think he... I think he's thinking about peanut pop guns. Yeah, looking for peanut for 252 and Estes. I don't think that's that steep though, so you don't need to gun Yeah, I'm it. not... I'm not entirely sure if this was the play, but I guess we'll see where it takes him. It could be he's just like doing backtracking now, just like, alright, I'm just gonna get these GGs now, and I've never come back to Galleon. But not coming here with Coconut Gun means you miss out on at least three easy GBs in the Lighthouse area. Sure, but I think if you get Coconut, you're more likely to get like a Japes first. So, I'm, I'm not sure. I think this is just a, I'm gonna kill Galleon and never come back here again. That's, my, that's what I think he's thinking. Waiting for Connor to hit deep head up and tell us how many GB, how many CBs he's got so far. I'm sure somebody in chat has been tracking the entire time and knows exactly what he's got. Okay, that was a good try. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, straight cop floating around the llama temple. Now there's gonna be a golden banana here, but no Kong, because of course they have all the Kongs. So we just have an extra Kong location because we start with two free Kongs in these settings. Perhaps more importantly though, there's those two lanky balloons in there. Finally, he checks at 196. He needs a little more than 50. And Riley isn't even an Aztec yet. He's really got to hope that Key Three is that Key Three is his only real advantage right now, and he's he's quickly losing ground on on 
on Connor clearing Aztec at lightning speed. Go ahead. Uh, one, one other difference I know there is between these two runners is the I know the Connor plays on Wii U versus uh, Riley's on Emulator. Are you familiar with like the the significant differences between the the lag on those? I think they're about the same, right? The big difference as far as lag goes is there Wii U VC is super laggy in Galleon Lighthouse area. Otherwise, they're roughly the same. I would almost give a slight advantage to Wii UVC, but it's really hard to tell. Hmm. But yeah, Project 64, which, was, which is what Riley's using, does not have that. Connor with impeccable routing as always grabs his last and then jumps in the trap. It's got portal right here. Beautiful. Hopefully Riley can peek his the ones he has soon. Oh, I didn't know he could get that bunch on the vines there. That's pretty neat. I don't think Riley has too many. He only has what he has from his first visit, so he's probably somewhere in like the I don't know, low hundreds. Maybe like 80 to 100 or so right now, probably. So he's probably got a good ways to go. Yo, nice so, amount of bananas on Connor's stream there. Nice. Anyway, Hunky Chunky and Twirl, he's not afraid of any bosses. In fact, with Hunky Chunky and Twirl, we're pretty likely to see one of them, and I am mistaken. We do not get Magic yet. Ooh, Dogadon 2. Or, sorry, Armadillo 2. Finally got a boss that doesn't line up with Vanilla. Riley, of course, does not have Chimpy Charge. He cannot do the Golden Banana in this area. Just a running around for some CBs. All right, Tudos, you're coming up on level six. Level six is your last key. Your two options are in door A, you have Fungi Forest. In door B, you have Crystal Caves. Which one do you take? Fungi Forest is the one to take, without a doubt. Um, caves is fine, but if you have 300 plus bananas in caves, all of a sudden that level becomes hell to collect bananas for. It is yeah, so you start, bad. You can start like dipping into cabins and everything. I mean, yep. look, looking at their loadouts, they've got all the instruments, so that's not even a problem. And they have most guns, too, so they're not going to have too many problems collecting bananas, I don't think. This should be a fairly straightforward level 6, even if it's like upwards of like 350. Yep. Um, we don't know for sure if Fungi is level 6 or 7 yet. We only saw that it requires 48 Golden Bananas to enter. Um, based on my experience, that more than likely means it's going to be level 7, but that's not necessarily true. Right, and I mean, they could hedge their bets and get 48, or Connor could be hedging his bets to try and get 48 before even checking 6. That's possible, right? How many does he have? He's got 31 plus, looks like 10. So I'm giving him a 41. Can you find seven more? I mean, surely you can find seven more somewhere in Aztec. 
or around aisles with like you got feather that's new that's a quick one in aisles yeah there's he's definitely has a lot of access that he didn't have before in aisles even if he doesn't anyway but we'll see if, if uh riley has the correct amount of bananas here i actually don't know if he does we'll see if this stinks he's good to short, i think he's he's well short he hasn't been in the llama temple yet Oh, Connor cashing in it now on. Connor cashing in now on the uh, back of banana fairy aisle. Riley's probably gonna do tiny and chunky five door temple. Those are tiny's is pretty quick. Chunky's isn't as quick, but it does give you two, so it's not horrible. Let's see with all sixes. It is forest. Okay, so you need 48 to get into forest. It's a hefty total. He needs uh, quite a few more. But at least it's not caves he needs the key for. Right, yeah. You know. Forest isn't a lot better. You're probably going to have to like climb the mushroom, which is not very fast. Oh, he does have rocket barrel, actually, so he may be able to bypass the, the mushroom climb. Yeah, I guess caves isn't so, or uh, I guess Funk Force isn't so scary there. A couple GBs to get in Caves Lobby too, so he may actually be able to get to 48 very quickly. I think you have to, surely surely you dump to get into Forest, right? I think it's it's too important to get in. I think so, I agree with that. And then find another 21 GBs on the way somewhere. Uh, yes, bee lockers are always increasing in these settings, so we know Forest was 48, so this caves has to be at least 48. We'll see if we'll see if Connor checks it. Does he need anything else for Helm? He needs peanuts for the K rule fight. I think that's it. And Gorilla gone. So. Yep, yep. Wow, it's 49. So you need 48 to get in a forest, and then just one more will get you the caves. No, I wonder if he decides to go to caves first here because he wants to guarantee that he has both guns for forest. I mean, interesting call. Make sure you have all the moves you need going into uh, from caves and then go go mode forest. Because being oh, this is a nice quick one for Riley. Being down two guns for one for one of the uh, later levels for collecting bananas is really rough. That can be rough, yeah. Even if you have, the, even if you can collect them without it, it's, it's just become like you just eliminate so many bananas from your rob just from that. So that brings him up to forty-eight. Let's see if he just dumps here or. If he... There's merit to going into caves first, but I think it's probably better to go into forest first because you know the forest total is going to be accessible without the guns in caves. That's just how the logic works. You're just, you're, it's guaranteed to be accessible with everything for, with moves from level six and earlier. Um, and on top of that, it could be caves is where you wrap up, where it's like, okay, I just need you know another like five GBs. I'm just going to dive caves, get the fast ones in here, and we're done like that's where you leave your buffer as opposed to leaving your buffer in forest along with also collecting cbs tough call but he's still dumping you do have to go back to james he's st he still will have to go back to james as well to, to chop off that that uh 140 or so cb requirement and beat armadillo Yeah, and this is Connor doing the blueprint dump to get into the later levels. I think it's reasonable to say Connor is ahead here. I have no idea how big the lead is, though. Yeah, Connor is absolutely ahead. Um, Connor does have to go back to Japes, I'm pretty sure, but he is absolutely ahead. 
Yeah, it's it's hard to specifically value that that Japes dip because we don't know how far he progressed he is in Japes. He's reasonably progressed, but he could be like at 100. He could be like 50. I think he's probably close to 100. Though, Connor so. will have access to a lot of those fast Japes finesse behind Coconut Gun later. That's gonna be a big one unless he goes to Forest and Coconut Gun is in caves. He may not find Forest, right? Or he may not find um, Coconut. He, yeah. He's not gonna turn up. He does need Peanut at some point, so. You hope we do, not, later, we do not know where any other moves are right now, Killy. But given how many Kong moves are missing, we know there's at least two Kong shops left. Between Forest and Kays. Alright, Forest it is. On the hunt for colored bananas. How many is the question? It's Connor has checked all of Castle, so he won't lose time there. And we'll see if there's anything on Funky in Forest, however. Yeah, we both runners checked Castle completely. It was two shared moves and pineapple, I think. Maybe it was punch. Maybe it was triangle. I think it was punch. It was punch. Final answer. Okay, so Caves has the rest of the moves, it looks like. Okay, he could have checked a Travis Goff door and didn't. Very cool. Well, there's still... Oh, that's right. We saw the other shop. Well, we got a hint for the other shop that was... It was garbage, whatever it was. It, yeah, I think it was like Sniper. It's like it's two, something. two something. I couldn't see it exactly. Again, 294. That's not 300. It's not terrible. It's sub 300 in any level isn't the worst. Yeah, you don't you don't hate to see a 290. That's not terrible. It could have rolled up to like three somewhere in the high 300s, like maybe like 360 plus maybe. Squishing tomatoes. The classic. Pretty quick one because you gotta run back here anyway. These are the kinds of GBs that are so good in rando. The ones that combine collecting CBs and grabbing, you know, a golden banana, as well as putting you or taking you on a path to go get more stuff, right? You yeah, had to leave that area anyway, so let's leave the area by also collecting a GB. I always thought that Apple GB being fast for randomizer was funny because, like, we would never even consider it for no levels early, for instance. Well, there's a couple things that go into it. I think the big one is... Well, there's, there's a bunch of things that go into it. One is, like, the, the order in which you get there, right? Yeah, and then, like, mm -hmm. just inherently needing to check that shop, too. Mm -hmm. And then another subtle thing is the transformation barrel speed, right? That's sped up a ton in Rando. You are instantly transforming when you have yep, the yep. barrel. Basically, basically, everything is using the fast barrel transform animation, it seems like. Which is just beautiful. That's just so nice. That's one of those subtle changes that, as soon as you see it, as soon as you see it played out, it's like, oh my god, why isn't it, why isn't it always like this? You hop in the rocket barrel and you're in, you're just rocket barreling instantly. It's just boom. And yeah, sure enough, you don't have to do the fancy uh, the fancy climb up to the top. Not doing the bonus barrel up top though, so I think he uh, he saw that beaver bother and was like, oh gosh, I've done. I've done enough bonus barrels for the seed. I mean, this late in the seed, in this late in runs, I never opt to do bonus barrels. They're just too slow compared to some of the quick ones you can just do for free. Yeah, there are some fast ones, but there are way too many slow ones. Because most of them are like on a set timer. You have to like wait you know, at least 30 seconds or something, doing basically nothing. Whereas with other GBs, like say this like chunky switch room one, you could be shooting a barrel in the meantime, and it probably it'll take you some time still. But like you're doing other things, right? You're collecting CBs on the way, coins, whatever you need. Maybe he's just getting the CBs in the late game. Maybe not. K 
kind of surprised Connor's doing this one, but... This one's not horrible, considering you're in this room to get bananas anyway. And Connor's pretty good at the puzzle, of course, as you can see. Well, I believe the, the starting positions are random, so... It's, it's not always quite so simple. In fact, the starting positions are so random, you can start it in such a way that it randomly shuffles into the solution. If you, you know, hit that one in like 200,000 chance, you could be the lottery winner of the day. If you play DK64 right now. putting his ammo usage to the test. He has six shots left, and he is definitely going to be shooting more balloons. There's a couple of ammo boxes around the top there, as you can see, but he's still pretty strapped. Skipping all the funky shots is catching up. Riley is also opting to do fungi instead of caves, it looks like. Or actually, I guess I guess he never knew. So now he, he needs to conjure up 48 golden bananas somehow. I wonder if he's going to check level 7 first before he does. Probably, but he's also probably just going to dump. Because uh, he's got... He's got 48, or he's got 47 right now. He's got 10 blueprints worth. So with 47 worth... He's deciding what to do. He's dumping. He's gonna yeah. get to 47, jump to 48, or he's getting the the lobby one, or the, uh, the aisles. Oh no, is this a long one, or is this a short one? Uh oh. Uh, no! Get out of here! He's... He really should go to Cave's lobby, though. Yeah. He knows it's Cave's lobby, too. It's the last level. So, he can be like, okay, at least there's some quick ones here. He can be like, if there, if there are some quick ones here, I can at least see how much it is, because, like... If he checks K's lobby first, he may opt to go in to see if he gets his weapons for his Kongs there. Because, again, three shots compared to one shot in Fungi that he knows isn't dead. I don't think he's going to have enough. If he's going into Cave's lobby for... Oh, he does have enough because he can guitar up and rocket burn. Or he can rocket burn up and guitar. So, yeah, he could get two GBs in Cave's lobby. That would take him from 47 to 49. 49 he, yep. he could just go into Cave's. So we can, get, we can get a look at Cave's pretty quickly, maybe. Hopefully. Thing for Riley to say in this race, that's what he's gonna have to, or is what he's gonna need to do. Otherwise, he's just gonna be too far behind. Connor and even then, I'm not sure if he can catch up. I guess we'll see. Yeah, Connor's a pretty hefty lead. He's a 175 in Forest and needs to get to 294. So a little, a little over 100 away. And Riley is at zero, which is bad. the deep analysis you came here for. That only puts him at 46, not 47. That actually is not good. Ooh, maybe that actually might that actually might lose Riley the race just because of that. We'll see, but maybe he has the grape cage here. Maybe he has no. One this year. I was hoping he would go do the saxophone thing for. There's no way to know, right? If you know that, if you know that Forrest is 48, there's what are the yeah? Odds there's no way to know. This is just unlucky. <laughs> Well, what are the odds that your caves is just one more than that, right? Yeah. This is just tragic. Well, re really tragic for us because we could have gotten a good look early, but mm -hmm. so it goes. Is it going to go up there? He's going to see it's 49. He's going to be kicking himself because he never got that tiny. Connor paused right on top of the music pad for the rabbit race, and I was like, there's no way he's doing the rabbit race. What? And it, it made me pause for a split second, like, what, what is he doing? <laughs> the sudden the sudden change of the image was like, oh my god, no way. For a split second.
So Connor finished his main lap in forest and is like, you know what? I don't want the caves moves. I'm going to caves. He's going straight there. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, hmm. I guess he wants the last moves. I guess. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. I, I I think like I like intuitively, just you know, I would think like, oh, I'm gonna go get the key while I'm still in forest, and then just never come back to forest. But maybe he has a, a different strategy in mind. There's Grill gone, so nice pickup. Like I said, those extra guns are very good. I guess I'm underrating how good the guns are. To be two guns down when you need three bananas is very rough. It's very rough. Riley is going to go to forest, it looks like. I guess we'll see if Riley opts to just clear forest here instead of going to caves. Well, I mean, he has to go to caves because presumably Peanut Pop Guns is in there. It's definitely here somewhere. assessment of things. Connor's at 52 plus 5, so he's at effective 57. He still needs to go back to Jape, so he may be able to pick up a couple extra there. He might find Coconut here as well, and that would make his Jape's revisit really good. To, to sort of, like, finish off. Like, that's the last thing he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. That would actually be brilliant. And, yeah, and that's... Yeah, I suggested that earlier. Like, you should save your level three until the end if necessary. And I think these are the two missing guns right here. Not me. Well, actually, it could be the other two moves. It could be blast and charge. Well, one was pop guns. There you go. And that's the one you care about because that's your that's your go mode. Yep. So now Connor has everything he needs to beat the game. This. If this is a coconut gun, it's just icing on cake. It is not coconut gun, though, so he's just going to decline that one. That's a cheeky little route. Take the quick warp up to the pillar to go get to the rocket barrel faster to fly around. A very clever way of getting around caves. You utilize the rocket barrel to the maximum. To the maximum. Now, there's no good way to navigate caves, but that's probably about as good as you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, if you, had to, if you had to pick one move to have in caves, rocket barrel is a really good one. It gets you around a lot. The other best one is punch, because all the ice walls you gotta punch through. Fifty-three, moving up to sixty-one total. Probably looking at forty-nine total, but with a one key advantage. He's really holding on to that key advantage, but I think it, it may be evaporating soon. Beautiful slide kicks up that slope. And here's your coconut. Coconut, two guns locked in level seven is pretty brutal. It is very mean. Very, very mean. Yeah, we could tell you how you Oh, well, double heads for the stream, I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about that. Oh no. That's Gnocchi. There's Pokey. That one over there is Juju. Oh, and there's Mingu. 
Hey, We're making quick work. Connor has Check acquired all I'm eight of Lanky's blueprints in this run. Protect your family on the road. That's fun. The travel peace of mind package. Get I could sub. I get through. I could sub to both runners midstream. Mm. Unfortunately, the ad breaks weren't actually really long this time. Okay, I just got the inside scoop from Connor Stream. He said he he's doing forest in two trips to make it more efficient. To, to go get and get these guns. Specifically to get the guns. So on the money on that one, Mr. Dose. Yep. Like the like missing one gun, fine, but missing two guns is is just so much of a disadvantage. Yeah, no, notably he didn't go to the mill area at all, and there's like DK balloons, there's Diddy balloons there. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Just barely shooting this ditty balloon over the wall. Perfect timing, of course. Oh my goodness. I could never. Welcome to bonus day. Yep, boom, right there, the DK and Diddy balloons. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted the guns for. Riley running into all of the maze games. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. All the bonus barrels he's looking at are just horrible. He's looked at Beaver Bother. He's looked at all the mazes. Just, oh man. No luck. Beautiful route here, I think. 284, there's a balloon in the back. Connor's done. He's getting out of forest. He's going to the boss. Yep, and there's that balloon for Tiny Kong right there. That should get him enough. Textbook routing. Exactly 294 on the dot. Oh my goodness. Oh, Riley with three shots to get this balloon in the top of the mushroom. Can you do it? Two shots. What a gamer. Unbelievable. So Connor needs six more to get him to helm and finish the seed. He is flying. He also needs key three, but that's a... Quick pit stop and Japes to go pick up all that. Grab your grab your key three and get out of here. He's flying. This is a another blistering pace seed. Oh, we got a chunky boss. This is looking like uh Dargodon 2. Looking like it. Okay, it's looking like it in the sense that I'd be surprised if it isn't. Drop somewhere. And it is Dogadon too. In forest, even. Flashes banana counts soon because I want to know where he is. 214, okay, he is about 80 away. 
I think coming down here, this will give him about 30. Yeah, you can probably see that, like, all collecting, rather than going around collecting all these signals is costing him some time for sure. I think he actually has enough where if he goes to the rabbit race area, he'll actually have enough, but I guess we'll find out at the end. Did he go to the, did, he went to the mill area, right? Yeah, he went to the mill first. Yeah, and going there without coconut and peanut is just... Inefficient, I suppose. It's a lesson learned. High value for those guns in that area. Quick 20. Well, Connor's got to clean up Jeeps with whatever he can find, I guess. Yeah, now he's gonna be able to get these four or five really quick GBs just from Coconut Gun. This is gonna prove to be very, very good for him. And I don't think, I don't think Riley is gonna, has the routing to actually do what Connor is doing right now. Like the routing ability with the stuff he has. Maybe he's probably, I bet Riley's gonna try and like finish up in caves, which is probably just worse. It's always worse than finishing in Jave. Toy Monster gets Rambi every time. Unbeatable. But Connor just flashed a 130 something, I think. Yeah, 137. He's almost done. He's like 10 more, and he's out of Japes, so. Get a balloon. He's off. Ding. Grab these two to get up to 67, then he needs two more, which you can get from I like, wonder if Connor has a ch no, Connor. I was gonna say, I wonder if Connor has a chance to beat the best overall season one time. I don't think that's gonna happen, but he's gonna- I think he has a chance to get sub-150. What is the best overall season one time? Uh, both me and Connor have 145. He got a 142 yesterday. Oh so. yeah, he got a 142, so yeah, it's him. Yeah, There's, no was, There's no way. There's no way. That seed was disgusting. It was the perfect storm. It needed no late levels, a bunch of extremely low uh, bee lockers, or uh, low Troffenskoffs, just the perfect storm. Unbelievably quick. But, wow, if Connor can just consistently produce 140, or times in the 140s, even if they're high 140s, that is insanely fast. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone else is matching that pace. Sub 2 hour is a great time on these settings. And just sub 150 is lightning. And it's due to a combination of just good decisions, good gameplay, and great routing. It's gonna be interesting to see. Well, I say great routing, implying it wasn't great. Yeah, gameplay. It implying was also, it, it was only good. It was game also play. great gameplay. It was great everything. It takes great everything to to go this fast. Same time, these fights are pretty short.
finally settled the, uh, we've, we've, we've settled the case once and for all that Army Dilla 1 is in fact faster than Doggerdon 2. I'm, I'm sure everyone was wondering, and now we've definitively proved it here. Two, two top runners fighting the bosses at the same time, and one is just, one is just simply faster. Connor got Gorilla gone, right? I need to mark that still. I think he has it, and Riley did not. Because yeah. Gorilla got a cave. I might have marked the wrong thing, yeah. That's the best part. Literally, there's so much happening in these randomizers, it's just hard to find time to look at the tracker. Connor's at 56. Does he have the blueprint power? to get 69 here. I don't think he does, but he's gonna go ahead and visit Aztec to wrap up, it looks like. No, he's probably gonna get the peanut cage up here, and then get the coconut cage, and then get the sax bed, and he's done. Here goes to 67, grabs 68 in the coconut cage right here, and access knives, and then warps up, takes the sax pad, 69. And he's done. He's flying. turns is this for Connor to see this is like his third, I think. That seems pretty good, I think. Three blueprint turn ins, one to get into to Galleon early because or no. You know, one to get into Japes early because Japes was just kind of a nasty number. One to get into Aztec because you wanted to get there as fast as possible for your fifth Kong. And then one to get into Forest. Oh, I guess there so this is his fourth dump then. Higher than average, but still very fast. It's just the power of blueprints. They're just good. They're easy to get and not that expensive to turn in a bunch at once. I would say, like, if you're not turning in, like, 35 to 40 percent of your gold bananas with blueprints, like, it's you just not collecting enough. Right. Like, what's there are a, 40. What's... There are 40 blueprints. So, like, if you're not getting around, like, 30, then it's just not enough. <laughs> Right, yeah, what's a good number to end with? Is it like 30 to end with? Or like 20, high 20s, 30 maybe? Yeah, like high 20s, low 30s is what you're usually shooting for. But obviously it depends, like, because there are some blueprints locked by moves, and obviously there's the helm one that you almost should never get. Right, like, he, and then there's like early levels you may not have gone back to, like, you went into if you go into Galleon with like three Kongs, it's like, are you actually gonna go back for the last two Kisplats, really? I mean, those are the ones you're gonna pass up. All right, chat, get ready for your nices. Oh, you'll also pass up the Helm Lobby one. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get this and turn this in in a race. It is not fast. Yeah, because if you're short a gold banana, you just do the bonus barrel instead of that. But if you're too right. short, then maybe you turn in. But again, I don't think your route would, would be that bad. Yeah, if you're too short, like surely something else is faster. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. This doesn't seem that bad if you have DK and like a good kick. It's like not too hard to get to that platform. I, I have no doubt that Kasplat will troll you if you need it though, right? If that's like your last banana, you're on the cutting edge of a race. You've got to get to the end. That Kasplat is going to kill you like 10 times out of 10. There is no chance you get that Kasplat alive. By the way, shout out to almost 200 viewers. That's actually insane. I did not think it would, this would get that much. Since the finals, this is a big race. These guys are top of the top of the class. They the are. I think Riley's kind of struggling on what he wants to do in here because he's like what 15-ish yeah. short. 
I think he wants to finish in caves, which is not yeah. really easy to do. He's gonna have to do a bunch of cabins he doesn't like to do. Like, he just did the sprint cabin, which is rare, mainly because you need three different moves for it. Well, the, the, four, the good news is if you have Monkey Port, you can get all five blueprints plus the golden banana on that path very easily. And a couple of these igloo and cab ones are still pretty fast, but like if you need to get like 15 or more, then like once you start getting that range for caves, it starts to become a lot of slow golden bananas. Yeah, you're going to look at the igloo and be like, ooh, some of these are ugly, but look tempting. Like, you're going to like Chunky's igloo, which is just a auto scroller, which kind of sucks. But like, is that really fast? I mean, you got to sort of like make compromises like that. Whereas Connor has made no such compromises as he races through Helm. Sorry for the slight frame drop so chat, but we are back. Not really sure what Riley's trying to do here. I think he wants to go back and get that blueprint, I think. Yeah, I think he's just traveling in caves. It's just faster to travel with Rocket Rail than anything yeah. else. Yeah, he just needed that one coin. Oh, no. Oh, was Peanut too expensive? Was five coins yeah, he was nice. short by one. He has to uh, get it because it's, it's way of the horde. That kind of sums up a, a, a bunch of coincidences for, for Riley. It's just tragic. A tragic entry GB or a tragic B locker into caves. Tragic prices. Regardless, this was still a very good showing for Riley. Getting second when he's not even a, he was not even a DK64 speedrunner. Like he only did Zooters before this, so still a very good showing. He beat me, so. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like not on a bad pace either, right? He's sort of wrapping things up. Like, the, like Riley's still gonna be getting a sub too, even though like we question some of his routing choices. Oh no, is he going into the? Oh god, I thought he was gonna do DK's ice maze. I hate that cabin with a burning passion. Ice maze isn't that bad. I hate it. I, <laughs> I know it's not that bad. I hate it. I hate it because I'm bad. I, I admit it. I'm bad. There, I said it. Uh oh. Yeah, he has strong Kong, so Ice Mace shouldn't be that bad. Doing this room with Super Duper Simon Slam is bad. You know what, this room, it's even worse if you don't have a way to kill the enemy in here. I would not recommend it. Like, if you can't kill a Claptrap with, with a gun, or like an instrument, or oranges, it is horrifyingly bad. Yeah, the eagle is pretty nice though. There's uh, quite a few fast ones. This uh, lanky one's pretty quick. Although getting out is kind of annoying. So this might be the last one he does here. Yeah, because looking at this, he dumps his blueprints. Would he would be at 56? Goes to 66, and then surely he can find three more aisles somewhere. Like with peanut, he's got. We know he got peanut. He probably got coconut. I uh, puts him at 55. So four more in aisles, surely. He should be able oh. to find four more. And, and the Gorilla Gone one at the start. Yep, he needs Gorilla Gone. Well, he, ha he has it, so it's just a grab this GB2 is a quick one, and then just get the heck out of caves, and then he'll fall right to helm. After a quick dump. A lot of, a lot of swimming in helm. So this, uh, this is the second Splish Splash Salvage. Which, uh, <laughs> this is a fun time with this camera, that's for sure. See up to aim your Kong and then swim directly at the target? That makes way too much sense. I can't believe I never thought of that. The tricks you'll learn. And will Riley be able to enter Helm before Connor is finished? Not with that shooting, he won't. <laughs> A nice, easy Kremlin Kosh just made that look trivial. That was like five or six seconds. 
beautiful. All the red ones popped up nice and early, and they just they just camped out. They're having a picnic, and Connor just shot them all dead. Hit him, hit him with melons. Ruthless. Can these Kongs be stopped? Finishing helm at like 142. This yeah, so this is gonna be like a 147, 148 range for Connor. It's DK Diddy Chunky too, right? So it's pretty yep. fast. K fast K rule. Oh, he's flying. Imagine if we pull all the cutscenes out of this. It'd be insanely fast. Well, that's why we're switching to item random for for 2.0. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then we switch to item rando, then <laughs> then we'll put your key eight in mine carts or something. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. Have you had a chance to do a bunch of item random, random, item random yet? I have not. It's For me, it's been Zooter and practice for this all last week, so... There we go. Hoping I can get in a item rando this coming week here. It is an adventure, that's for sure. The ever evolving DK64.com or DK64randomizer.com. Anyway, for Chad, who are not like used to seeing this, um, if you are interested, all you need to do is go to DK64randomizer.com and you can make your own seed. Um, the C, the settings they are playing right now is a preset called Season 1 setting, so you can easily just play there. Oh, Connor didn't get the, uh quick setup for that first shot here, but usually the the next shots are a lot easier to do with the next lights. What's going on there? Is he like shooting peanuts like through the light fixture yeah. or something? Huh. In like a specific spot, you can hit the back and the front with the same shot or something. Like one gun hits the back, one gun hits the front or something. Yeah. It's the only place in the glitchless rules that where we allow you to clip your gun through objects because it's super easy to do in this without meaning to. Yeah, I definitely remember doing it as a kid, and I was like, what the heck is going on here? And then I get punched with a glove because I'm not paying attention. These gloves are mean. Here you go, chunky phase. The end of the line. Connor is a wild seed. This phase is like 45 seconds, maybe? It's the crazy about the seat is Riley's still going to get sub two. Yeah, he's just entering home. He is, which is still faster than what a lot of players would normally get too. So like, oh, that's he, cool. even though it looks like he's really far behind, he still did a pretty good job. He's cruising, great pace too. But oh my goodness, and Connor showed up here. That's for sure. Kidding. Welcome to bonus stage. As a whole, the seed doesn't seem too wild. It was definitely a, a wild goose chase. To I, get to I the think back Riley scene. just made some bad calls with how he wanted to route the seed out. Which is okay. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Yeah. That's the way she goes. It's so hard to, pin, to, to pinpoint one... I mean, to be fair, he gets... Riley has beaten Connor on some of the asyncs. So it's not like Connor wins every time. Yeah, I mean, random is random. And here it comes. 1.45.38 is the official final time. Easy. Bonus stage. Holy smokes. 
God, wow. He drops a 142 yesterday and a 145 today. Yeah, good luck to anyone going up against Connor. Oh my goodness. He'd be hard to press to see anyone come up with it. We're the winner of the first BP64 randomizer blitz journey. Alright, can we move to the uh, DK voice channel? Okay. In Rando Discord. Morning, Connor. Congratulations and GG. Thank you. How In was That was a, an impressive showing for sure. Another 145. My goodness. Official time 145.38, which I believe is either the second or third fastest time ever. That was a, this was a pretty good seed. Had a nice key distribution, not like top heavy or bottom heavy. Yeah, it had some interesting like colored banana uh, requirements. Like I, I haven't done a lot of like late fungi in a while. So I was, because it just fungi usually comes early. So I wasn't like, I didn't really have a route in mind for 300 bananas and fungi. It, yeah, I, what it, you did worked out super well though, where you finish off the, the giant mushroom area and the worm area, leave to go get the last two guns, and then use those last two guns in the world. That just worked so well. Yeah, I like I was I was worried not having guns in there. I was hoping like they would be in just the fungi shops, and then when they had nothing, I realized that in the mushroom area and by the rabbit race. Like, there were no DK or Diddy balloons I wanted. And after I cleared those, I said, I'm just gonna go for caves, get the guns, and think about, like, how I'm gonna finish the seed. Yeah, it's always interesting when you have late guns and, like, locked in level 7, because that makes banana routing, like, a little bit odd for the odd levels. Like, and Riley almost certainly lost a ton of time to you because he opted to do forest without the guns yeah and like I, I knew i wasn't done with golden bananas if it was a scenario where i didn't need any more golden bananas i probably would have just you know dealt with it and not got the guns Welcome even though Wednesday. i mean you want diddy's gun for diddy phase but that's a whole other issue yeah, uh your your last uh golden banana cleanup was backtracking to japes because you still need the key there whereas riley had done key three earlier when he could he had to st stretch a little bit to get the, the bananas to get the key three. So he, yeah. he didn't go back to, to Japes again once he got the key. So he like finished up in caves, which is probably a little slower than finishing in Japes. Yeah, it's like I, I knew I needed golden bananas in caves still. So that's why I was fine with just leaving fungi and going to caves since I knew I needed at least five, six golden bananas there. Yeah, it worked out super well. Um, a lot of a lot of blueprint dumps. I think you were you were talking about that too on how many you had to do, right? It was like you had to like dump a little bit to get into Jabes because Jabes is kind of high. You had to dump to get into Aztec. You had to dump to get into Forest, and then you had to dump to get into Helm. Yeah, and I mean, I, I feel like I do that more than other people, and I don't know if it's always worth it, but I like to prioritize getting into levels to make progression when I can. Good that just seems like the way to go. I mean, it won you this tournament, so. <laughs> Kongs are king. You get your Kongs, you just get more stuff more efficiently, quicker. And it was a quite the chain to go get your to go get Diddy, because you knew as soon as you as soon as you got Chunky, you're like, okay, I need Diddy. Diddy has to be an Aztec, and which means or Diddy has to be in the front of Aztec because he can't be in the back of Aztec because it's guitar locked. So you know. You free him with Chunky. So then, okay, where's Punch? You gotta go find Punch, and then with Punch, then you can go to Aztec and get your Kong. Just the whole deal. Punch was in, like, Castle or something, so you had to, you had to do quite a bit of exploring for it. You know, it's kind of worked out. Well, it actually was in Castle. Like, I, I don't think 
doing as much in Castle as I did paid off. Hmm. I don't. So, I don't remember. I mean, I, I I hate to like leave shops unchecked. Period. Though. Well, what's interesting is you ran by Super Duper Simeon Slam. It was Cranky's and Castle. Uh, Riley picked it up and was like, "Okay, that's pretty good. You can grab a couple quick GBs in Castle too." There's a couple good ones in Super Duper. I don't think anything's that fast. I mean, you have the greenhouse. greenhouse, but like, if you're not, if you don't need bananas, it's questionable. Greenhouse and DK Dungeon, I think, were what he did. Yeah, I mean, if uh, I've I've learned my lesson now of like because th there have been seeds where I skipped Super Duper Simeon Slam and it cost me when it comes to collecting bananas in Castle. So I like always check and it's like if you don't need bananas in Castle and you aren't too strapped for GBs, like I was, I, I didn't even want to bother checking the shops for all commons at that point. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Because I was thinking, like, <laughs> because Slam was in Castle, if you did need that Castle Key, that Castle Key could have been super mean. That could have been, like, 250 plus Castle Key. But it wasn't. Yeah. Got away with one. Why don't you go to the final time on your file selection, just for comparison's sake? Oh, okay. Sorry. One forty-five, forty-five. Not too bad. Actually, surprise. That's actually fat or slower than your actual time. Interesting. Yeah, I did. I did pause the game a couple times. Like when I got stash snatch and helm, I needed to pause to look at my notes for that. And <laughs> and I, I think pausing the game pauses the timer. Yep, that is true. Speaking of those mazes, some of the bonus barrels in this seed were horrible. There was the, the beaver bother early. Dude, but, 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 it, but it was, four was the four, four gold beavers is so low chance to get though. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure actually like maneuvering the gold beavers, I am not used to. <laughs> well, I also think it was like the the Snides Kaizo one too. So like on top of that, it made right. it even more difficult. I think Riley found like two or three long mazes that were just like, God. They what? Riley found the uh, thirty-three uh, required coins required stat snatch, which obviously wasn't going to happen. Uh, Riley also did find some really quick barrels that you didn't do though. He found the tiny stars one that's super quick, and he also found the speedy swing sortie level one. So he got some pretty quick ones checking them. Yeah, I definitely don't do as many bonus barrels as other people, and I just like the, the non-randomness, like... <laughs> I mean, that makes total sense. They suck. I think they suck. I think bonus barrels definitely suck. Definitely worth doing at the beginning, though, when you've no idea how many golden ends you'll need to enter early levels, but... Yeah, like, I'll always do the, the lanky one in Factory when Factory's level 1 and stuff like that. In this case, it just happened to be a beaver bomber. <laughs> a Kaizo beaver bomber. <laughs> Four golden beavers. Alright, one more punch on Riley. He's gonna end up with a 155, which still is not a bad time at all. A lot of people still can't get sub two. Okay, you just said my name. You don't have to say a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> We know all know L Rock is the worst DK Sister Randomizer player of all, so. Okay, that's not true. Riley with the 154. Nice. 154 is the final time. Yeah, I was never getting sub 150s until this tournament. I think just doing so many matches helped. Too. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is kind of like duels early, but not really. Trailblazing. It is, it is basically we're all, we're all... No, no levels early, but you have to get some keys, and the moves and levels are in different orders. Yeah, the, the order you do levels in is totally weird. Yeah, no, uh, we're, all, we're all taking notes, though, so maybe the, uh, the, the sub 150s are not far behind for the rest of the group. Yeah.
All right, Riley's gonna jump in here in a second. All right, morning, Riley's GGs. Yo, hello, GGs. All right, but if you can go Riley's to your uh, final file select screen, just so we have that. But if you can go to your uh, final yeah. file select screen, just so we have that. Oh, oh Riley's. Um, can you mute? I'm gonna mute Riley's stream. So oh, Riley's. Um, uh, can you I, mute? I'm, I'm gonna mute Riley's through twice or something. Yeah, it was echoing. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, well, Riley, do we have any... I guess, Riley, what was your kind of thoughts on this? Did you have a feeling like you were behind at some point, at certain points? I mean, I feel like every big mistake I made that cost me time, I'm like, God, this is just like, I'm still, I still need to get better at execution of this game to be close to Connor. <laughs> but that's what it is when you literally just started, like, not even two months ago, so. And for that, this is an impressive showing anyway. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan. Any sub two seed is very good. It probably yeah. would have made a difference, but it was kind of sad to foresee you go to like Caves Lobby, knowing that you're trying to get gold bananas for Fungi Lobby, but Caves Lobby was only one more than what you had. It's it's that freaking death in uh, Tiny Crypt that cost me a lot of time. I feel, but yeah. I mean, I, I just made uh, too many little mistakes like that. They just like piled on, I think. But... Was there oh, anything Cody? that you guys saw, like us do, that you would have done differently? Um, I, I, what, or, I really like Connor. I really like your routing through a lot of it. Just going back, your your backtracks felt like they were purposeful. You're going back specifically to Japes to go get extra GBs to get into Aztec. And, oh, you know, while you're there, go check the, the Diddy moves as well. Go pick up the Diddy moves, get the tiny moves and whatnot, and all that jazz. That that felt really good. Instead of, like, say, dumping blueprints to get into to get to Aztec, it was more of a, oh, I should just go get some more GBs and backtrack while I can, and check shops as well. That was a really good choice, I think. Um, yeah, hard to say. A lot of it is just, like, moments of... You know, convenience, right? If you like, if say Riley had an extra GB to get into caves, would that make a huge difference? And I think the answer is probably. You go in, you get, you get, you get like, my moves, and banana. it makes makes for us banana routing it a little better. Yeah. Well, one thing one thing Connor did that I like was he checked like half of forest and then left, went to caves, got the guns, came back and finished forest, which I felt like was was pretty good, right? You only need to check like chunks of. You can sort of like segment off forest as like, oh, I check, I separate the mill area check for the second visit. You know, check the check the mushroom on the first visit, and then you can go do other stuff in the meantime, and then go back to the mill. And it's not really inefficient, right? The only inefficiency is like running to the lobby or something, which is super fast. Not having coconut guns just owns me so much. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're like ops. That I was going out of my way to check, just hoping it would be a DK's gun, and it never came. Yeah, level seven DK gun is brutal. I mean, I never bought it, so I should have bought it. But... I mean, I only yeah. ever ended up getting one Diddy balloon and one DK balloon in Fungi, so it's like it was twenty bananas in the end that I could have made up elsewhere. Yeah, it, yeah, I guess I guess it makes more sense if it were like a higher fungi, but it was like almost it was like almost three hundred ninety four. Because it's like a that's like a mid sized level six, I think. You can get higher, but it's not too. Low. Yeah, I was expecting. I'm always expecting more. So, <laughs> I think the hardest thing for me to want to do back, I think, um, I really wanted to do production production room in factory, but I had never ended up doing it, which I think I should have probably routed it in somewhere at some point. I just never did. Do you have like a time when you like to do it? Like, is there are there certain moves you're looking for? Because like you had like sprint or you you had like handstand. You had sprint yeah. pretty early, I think. I pretty much had everything to do like four GBs and the blueprints in there, which probably should have done. Even with DK, I got strong Kong early. I'm like, okay, good. I'll grab it just for production room. How much like it gets it a little faster done, and then like I just never ended up backtracking to factory. I think the problem is that you sort of check the shops you've already checked the shops right you know there's nothing left in there so it's like what are you what are you going back for 
Yeah, I mean, I could have gotten a few things. Like, seven, it's like, what, like seven GBs? Because like, I, I didn't get the factory lobby blueprint as well at some point, which I probably should have routed in. But like I said, it's just kind of like where I should have routed in. Maybe instead of doing an Aztec, uh, bef like rushing forest with the blueprint dump, go factory instead and get some GBs in there. But it's it's hard to say. Yeah, that might have like cleaned up the caves clean up because at the end you're like trying to get to 69. So you push through like caves because you're there, which may not be the best thing to do. I don't know. It's not too bad. But... Yeah, there's a lot of there's some good ones there. Yeah, I feel like there's seven fast ones in caves. The two or five blueprints and then Gorilla Gone and the monkey port with Tiny. That's yeah. what I did. I usually like to save warp out of the lanky igloo one, but because you can just like go up there with Diddy and then grab the GB, save quit out. It's yeah. pretty fast. That one's definitely the fastest out of the igloos that I usually get. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I could have done that too. I was just close to 69 already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I usually like to finish with like Isles cleanup, especially like I had Tiny's uh, Gun GB and the Monkey Port. I usually I finished with. So. Yeah, I had saved Japes for later. So while I was doing like the the forest boss, I was thinking ahead of like, okay, what you know are the next like ten gold bananas that I'm gonna clean up with to finish the seed. Yeah, so I went. I did Japes to finish it pretty early. And it kind of stuck. It kind of sucked because I was still missing quite a few moves, so I made it a bit inefficient. Because I went back there pretty early. I think after I got Diddy and Aztec just to look for moves. So, because you obviously need a guitar. So, yeah, I I did as well. But like without DK's gun, I was not ready to commit to finishing Japes until I had that. Yeah. I spend a lot of time just getting straggling GBs. Uh, sorry, colored bananas and japes that kind of took a long time as well. Yeah, it's like I was doing that in Aztec, but Aztec is also just slow bananas. Yeah, and, and when you're missing two guns. Yep. Especially like I didn't get Feather Bow before I freed Diddy as well. So like, I, where was Feather Bow again? I think it was. Was it in the back? No, it was Aztec Funky. Oh yeah, it was impossible to get that when you were freeing Diddy. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of those balloons, but. Because I did get super duper Simeon Slam for Castle as well, and got a few GBs with that. I got the Diddy, uh, the DK uh, face thing, and the uh, Lanky Maze. Which Lanky Maze? I don't know if it was worth it or not. Hard to tell. I think it's pretty quick. Cutscene sucks, but I think it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's mostly the cutscene at the end as well, the, the, the crown. Yeah, and there's also like nothing else up there for you. I mean, I mean, you, I got the uh, the chunky GB as well, the the shed, but you, I you, didn't have I didn't have uh, mini monkey either. So it was, it was like, ugh, yeah. Like, like I said, it was a bit awkward. Just move positioning was a bit weird for me. Yeah, I think uh, you got you climbed the castle first. You got slammed, went up to do the race, and then went down and. Punch, yeah. was, punch was in funky, so you had to go back up to do the shed. I mean, with Warp 3, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. Not that big of a deal for me. I'm just gonna probably rewatch the VOD and see where I lost most of my time. Like I said, just in a f unfortunate deaths, I think, are just like silly mistakes that I can rectify later just by playing a lot more and getting better. There is more DK64randomizer.com to be played. Yeah. Yep, item randomizer is coming up next year. That's going to be exciting. I mean, Pink's for everybody interested... Yeah, I was going to say, there's just another Blitz tournament next weekend already for the for, for DK64 Rando. Is that next weekend? Oh, my God. Yeah, next weekend is a call. <laughs> so. It just keeps happening. You Don't stop it. coming and doesn't stop coming and doesn't... <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. We're, I do want to cut the stream um, around now because there is going to be another stream happening on DK64 Speedruns tonight in, I think, less than an hour at 8 p.m. Eastern. There's going to be, for those that haven't seen it, there is a DK64 challenge series that happen every Sunday night, um, which is going to be 
again, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it should be pretty soon. So if anyone else is interested in more DK64 speedruns, that will be happening then. So, um, that being said, again, if you liked what you saw, if you've never seen DK64 Randomizer before, all you need to do is go to dk64randomizer.com. All the information you need is right there. You can generate your own seed. Um, lots of settings, lots of fun settings in development res now as we speak. So, um, excited for that. Excited for the upcoming DK challenge on this channel. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. For streaming it, Tudos. Yeah.